Hi everyone, Gerdy van Woerd here, their Great League Guide and Coach, with episode 10 of the series on how to safely hike the mountains by yourself. And yes, I am wearing the same outfit for three videos in a row. That's because I'm recording three videos in a row and it's just too hot to be bothered with uh, changing shirts all the time and make you think that I am um, recording this in different spaces or in, at different times. Having said that, episode 10 of uh, the series, episode 10, tip 10, is all about keep your phone charged and keep it on airplane mode. Keeping your phone charged is important because you may need it uh, to place an emergency call. And it's hard to do that when your battery has run out and it's hard to stay on the line when people on the other end ask you to um, when your battery is low. And in emergency cases people of rescue services may actually ask you to stay on the line. Now and when you're in, you know when your battery is down to 10% it's quite hard to do that. So make sure your phone is at least 50% charged all the time. Now you may have an old phone that discharges quickly or you may be using apps that use a lot of juice. You may be like I am because uh, you bring your phone along for uh, taking photographs, for uh, doing videos and those are all things that take up uh, battery space, battery power, especially videos and some of the uh, GPS like apps too. So keep an eye on your battery power when you do that. And um, when you know that your battery power is is, is runs out quickly, bring a battery pack. Bring something that you can use to, um, to make sure that your phone stays charged. That's it really. That's a very basic but um, an easy thing to do is to keep your phone charged. Now why airplane mode? Uh, because I almost forgot that bit. Um, airplane mode is because, first of all, it helps reduce the use of battery power. All kinds of apps that you usually have running in the back background and use a bit of battery power all of a sudden don't have connection and don't uh, are not trying to, to somehow attach to some connection to the internet that's not going to be there anyways. Uh, so it helps with uh, 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 um, reducing the use of the battery power. And but for me, what is most, what is almost more important, is people can't reach me. Now, when I need to be reached, I obviously don't put it on uh, airplane mode. But usually, most calls can um, can wait. I'm all <laughs> sorry about that. But um, I'm old enough to remember when we didn't have mobile phones all over the place and uh, people had to wait anyways until they could reach me. So I like the fact that I have peace and quiet when I go into the mountains that I'm not being disturbed by phone calls that are not necessarily urgent. People can leave a message and as soon as I've got, uh, as soon as I turn my phone back on, uh, take it out of airplane mode, messages come in and I'll respond to them and um, in the more in more than a decade of mountain hiking it has happened not once that a message was so urgent that i needed to uh, that I, that it would have been necessary for me to keep my phone on so when you want to truly immerse yourself in, in nature don't only you uh, leave your earbuds at home as i uh, suggested you do in episode 9 but also keep your phone on airplane mode. Keep your phone on airplane mode, make sure that it is charged so you can always, in case of an emergency, place a call and if necessary stay on the line long enough for uh, uh, to give the information that needs to be given to the people that are going to find you, hopefully. Alright, as always, go there greatly. Bye bye.